Hey, have you ever mixed turmeric into water? Or maybe even your favorite smoothie, and wondered why it's not working. You might think you're getting all the benefits, but there's a big chance you're missing out on the real healing power of turmeric. The problem most of us are taking it the wrong way, and that means your body isn't absorbing it like it should. Today I'm going to show you exactly why. Your turmeric might be going to waste and the three simple fixes that can completely transform how it works in your body, according to research. Trust me by the end of this video, you'll know how to unlock turmeric's full potential and start feeling its real benefits. Alright so here's the deal. Turmeric has this incredible compound called curcumin, which is where all the real magic happens. But here's the common mistake most people make. They think just mixing turmeric in water or sprinkling it on food is enough. The truth is turmeric doesn't dissolve in water, which means your body can't absorb the curcumin properly so what happens? Instead of getting all those amazing anti-inflammatory and healing benefits, you're pretty much just flushing it out of your system. That's why so many people aren't seeing results. But don't worry there's a simple fix. And we're going to dive into that next. Now, here's a little secret that not many people know about black pepper. You see adding just a pinch of black pepper too. Your turmeric can make a huge difference. Why? Well, black pepper contains something called piperine. And that's the key to boosting your turmeric's power. In fact, piperine can increase turmeric absorption by up to 2,000%. So if you're just taking turmeric on its own, you're really missing out. But when you add black pepper, you're supercharging it, making sure the curcumin gets into your cells and starts doing its healing work. It's such a simple step, but it's a game changer for getting the most out of your turmeric. Okay, so here's another trick that can really help you get the most out of your turmeric. Heat it up. Yep, gently. Heating turmeric actually increases its bioavailability, meaning your body can absorb it much better. In fact, heating turmeric can make it up to 12 times more effective than just taking it raw. The best part, you don't need to cook it for long. Just saute it with your veggies or mix it into some warm almond or coconut milk. Even better, have it before bed to help with inflammation and get a better night's sleep. The warmth not only makes turmeric more potent, but it can also help soothe your body. Just be sure not to overheat it. 10 to 12 minutes is perfect for unlocking that full healing potential. Let's clear up a common misconception. Turmeric and curcumin aren't exactly the same thing. Turmeric is the spice we all know and love, but curcumin is the real powerhouse. Inside turmeric, curcumin is what's responsible for most of turmeric's health benefits, like reducing inflammation and boosting brain function. But here's the catch. Curcumin only makes up about 3% of turmeric by weight, which means just sprinkling a little turmeric on your food might not be enough to see those big health improvements. That's why it's so important to absorb it properly and get the most out of that small amount of curcumin. Whether you're using turmeric powder or a supplement, how you take it makes all the difference. In the next sections, I'll show you exactly how to do that so you can unlock turmeric's full healing potential. Now you might be wondering how much turmeric or curcumin you actually need to start seeing benefits. Well, research suggests that around 500 to 2,000 milligrams of turmeric per day is the sweet spot. For most people, that might sound like a lot. But remember, if you're just adding turmeric to your meals, you're probably not getting nearly that much. Especially since curcumin only makes up a small percentage of turmeric. That's why many people turn to supplements to make sure they're hitting that daily dosage. If you go this route, look for supplements that contain black pepper extract, piperine which helps with absorption. You can also split your dosage throughout the day, say a morning smoothie and an evening meal, to get a more consistent effect. But remember like with any supplement, consistency is key to getting the full benefits. One thing to keep in mind with turmeric is that it's not a quick fix. The real magic happens when you take it consistently. Over time, it's like building a healthy habit. Just like you wouldn't expect to get fit after one workout. You can't expect turmeric to solve all your problems after just a few days. Most people start noticing the benefits after a few weeks of regular use, especially when it comes to things like reduced joint pain, improved digestion and lower inflammation. The long-term effects are even more exciting. Studies show the turmeric can help with everything, from boosting heart health to supporting brain function. It's also known to be a natural anti-inflammatory, which means it can help with chronic conditions like arthritis, or even reduce the risk of certain diseases, 
while turmeric is generally safe for most people and offers tons of health benefits, there are a few things to keep in mind. If you're taking high doses, you might experience some mild side effects, like an upset stomach or nausea. Turmeric is also known to thin the blood, so if you're on blood thinning medications, it's a good idea to consult with your doctor before adding large amounts to your diet. Also, if you're pregnant or breastfeeding, you should check with your health care provider first. Even though turmeric is natural, it's always best to be cautious, especially if you're dealing with specific medical conditions. or medications. Moderation is key here. Turmeric is powerful, but you don't need massive amounts to feel its benefits. Just make sure you're using it safely. Now let's talk about how to store your turmeric so you can keep it fresh and potent. For ground turmeric powder, you want to store it in a cool, dark place like a pantry or a cupboard, away from heat and light. These can break down the active compounds in turmeric over time which means less benefit for you. If you want to take it a step further, storing it in the fridge can help keep it fresh even longer as for fresh turmeric root. You can store it in the refrigerator for up to a couple of weeks, but if you're not going to use it right away, you can also freeze it. Just peel and cut it into smaller pieces. Pop them into a freezer safe bag and you'll have fresh turmeric ready to go whenever you need it this way. You'll always have the full potency of turmeric on hand for your daily use. Turmeric is super versatile and you can take it in a few different forms depending on what works best for you. One of the most common ways is using ground turmeric powder, which is great for adding to recipes, smoothies, or even making your own golden milk. If you want to go the extra mile, fresh turmeric root is another option. It's got a slightly stronger flavor, and you can grate it into soups, stir fries, or teas for an added boost. Now that you know how to get the most out of your turmeric, let's talk about why it's so powerful. When turmeric is absorbed correctly, it can do wonders for your body. It's one of the most potent natural anti-inflammatories out there, which means it can help with everything from joint pain and arthritis to heart health and brain function, and it doesn't stop there. Turmeric has been shown to help with conditions like diabetes, irritable bowel syndrome, even cancer prevention plus. It supports your liver, which is essential for detoxifying your body and keeping everything in balance. The best part, you can feel all these benefits just by making a few simple tweaks to how you take it. Give these tips a try, and I guarantee you'll start feeling the benefits, whether it's reducing inflammation, boosting your immune system, or just feeling better overall.